Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And on this episode, we are going to continue where we left off. Now, you can kind of see that I did uh, fix my bot up a little bit. I moved some things around. I put some wheels down where they needed to be. Uh, I kind of uh, fixed the area in here, so I moved some of the, uh, the uh, tractor pads around, so it was a little bit more organized. And then I put my radar unit right here in the center. Now, this is where my repair bubble and my shield generator will eventually go. And I'll put some uh, batteries in here to power them once we get those. I do need quite a bit more weapons. As you can see, I'm very, very low on that. And I need quite a bit more wheels and a few more blocks to kind of round it out. And as you can kind of see, this is a very, very simple design. You just kind of every so often expand outwards a little bit more in the exact same pattern. Your bot gets bigger. Uh, in all directions and eventually you have a fairly decent sized bot. Now if you look at my base back here you'll see that it's still not producing anything. I'm not quite sure why it's uh, doing this. I think it's because I'm missing one of the the most basic pieces, uh, the resources that I need. I guess I don't have any over here or I haven't found any. And if I did I probably sold them by mistake. But you'll see that it, uh, it rotates through the stuff and it does not want to make anything right now. I have two of the uh, the fabricators in here and it's not doing anything with either one of them so where I have uh, it kind of set up as is it goes through the little uh, tractor pads here not the tractor pads the uh, the receivers um, what are they called there the, the conveyors I should say god I can't spot we can't talk tonight in fact let me move this over and I just kind of tore everything up but that's alright because it needs to be fixed Otherwise, what's the point? Let's put this back down. We will move this over right here so that it kind of comes down the path. We're actually going to move this down a little bit more. And we will take this and move that right here. And you can see it's getting nighttime on us right now. Or you can just knock everything around. Uh, where'd it go? Right there. So what the idea is, is anything that it won't make with uh, the resources I have will then get sold off. So at least it kind of clears up space for new items that I have. And at some point, it should make something. The only downside to this is I don't know if it will sell finished products. So if I put a actual item on here, let's see if it will sell it. I don't think it will. I think it needs to be recycled first, and then it can be sold. Let's back up a little bit. Now you can see it's making its rounds through the, uh, the conveyor right there, and it's not going to be sold. So anything that it makes will uh, will stay on here and we'll be able to see that and then we can come in here and look at the recipe and see oh okay that's what it uses that's what we need to find so i'm going to keep it like that for now until we discover some recipes and i'm going to keep looking for new resources but i want to come out here and kill some bots because we haven't done too much of that uh well i mean we've done a ton of it but we haven't gotten anything from them. all that we've gotten is some small little blocks here and there that kind of help round out our bot but i want to go out a little bit further i want to see if we can find some venture blocks let's see we don't really need any more of those i guess we could pick them up we do have space for it it's going to add weight to our bot but i think in a good way oh great there's another enemy over there next to my base this is the problem man this is what always has been kind of keeping me from going off and exploring is just having to come back here and protect my base come on kill him already i want to do good stuff oh man he has a lot of blocks if i can kill him there we go. He's going to explode here in a second. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Wow. Okay. This kind of slows me down, too. Every time I get a whole bunch of stuff, then I have to come in here and kind of fix my, my thing up. Again, it still doesn't want to move, right? Get in here. Move. There we go. Got over the little hurdle there. Now, I'm going to put my wheels down here. Not on the top, because that's just ridiculous. Let's see. Can I get any wheels in there? Uh, that would be a very, very hard fit to get it in there and it does holy crap I can't believe we got it in there can we get this one in there that's asking the impossible actually I don't think that yeah that's not even remotely gonna happen let's put some blocks over here fill that up I need a one. Ooh, we got a is this a repair bubble or a shield generator it doesn't say what else did we get ah, we got a uh, a solar generator so yeah I'm pretty sure that's going to be ooh and we got a terminal as well is this my base <laughs> right? Did he just attack my base and take everything? That's a lot of good stuff, and our base is still intact, so yeah, we, we're, we're getting some, uh, I mean, it's nothing we don't already have, but every little bit helps, and it makes your, your base a little bit more efficient, because it can do things a little quicker once you get it actually going. Let's pick up all of this stuff. We'll just take it back with us, and then I'll 
rearrange it when we get there. Let's see, we're gonna pick this up. Put that over this. Did we get any weapons out of this? No, no weapons. Just uh, blocks and wills, which is what we were kind of after. And I can actually expand it again. I can go off again on, on one of the sides. I think I'll have enough blocks to do that. And when you do that, I, I found that it kind of looks like a spider. It's actually kind of a cool design. Almost so that I kind of want to keep it that way. But I do also want to go a little further in the back. Because you can kind of see it's not quite as long as I normally go. I think I need to make it another like two wide going backwards so that it doesn't tip over when we go up these hills i don't even think it's going to be able to make it but if it does you can see how close it gets to kind of tipping and if i was going over that really fast especially going backwards really fast uh that may be too much for my bot to actually handle so let's come over here and deliver the goodies what happened over here did they get attacked i think they got attacked because there are some weapons over here and I, I would never have left the weapons here so they got attacked while i was gone some more wills and some more blocks. Yeah, they sure did. Another reason that you have to, have to, have to have that stuff on uh, that little guard tower. Otherwise, you are going to lose everything. And you can see some of this stuff is damaged and it's not being repaired because I don't have uh, any power for my, my solar generator. It only works during the day and it's nighttime. So if it gets attacked during the nighttime, well, you're just kind of out of luck. So let's put this here. Uh, we will put this over here next to this one so it can sell twice as fast. In fact, I don't think it can. Can it? Nope, nothing's going to it. So we'll put it right here next to this one. There we go. Wow, check that out. My bot was destroyed pretty good there. Let's, uh, let's pull this stuff back a little bit. You know what? I am going to come out again over here on this side because I like that design a lot. Let's go off to... We could go three, but I think two. No, three is gonna three is gonna be the way we need to go on that one, so that we have enough room to put wheels underneath on both sides. Uh, in fact, let's see. Can we move these and we'll use the two block one? It's a little bit more difficult, and there is I do see it on the radar, guys. I'm not uh, neglecting that. I see that there is an enemy over there threatening the safety and security of my base. So we will go over there and destroy him. Ah, crap. You little punk. No. Oh, my God. Destroy him. What's he look like? Oh, my God, man. They will not leave you alone. It is crazy. Just give me a few minutes to mess with my bot. Please. Anything. Oh, my God. Guys. You're just torturing me because you get off on it, I guess. I mean, it's... <laughs> I don't know what to say. It's uh, it's a lot, lot harder, guys. So if you're going to play this, be ready for that. Be ready for the challenge, because this is definitely uh, a lot more difficult than it was before. Let's see. Can we put any wheels over here? We should be able to. I think that's far enough down. It sure is. Now, it is kind of weak at first when you do it this way, because you just have these little blocks kind of exposed and taking damage, but... Overall, I haven't really seen them get destroyed fairly easily, and if you do it right... Oh, great. That's not where I wanted to put you. Put you right there. And if you do it right, uh, you can find that it's it's actually really, really easy to do, and you're just not going to run into too much of the problems that I've run into with other designs. I guess I'll leave that wheel there, and we are going to go off and explore. I want to go into the desert over here. I don't care. We're, we're going to risk it. Our base may get destroyed, and I hope it does not, but we're going to risk it. Uh, it's been too long, and I want some venture blocks. I want some blocks that weigh less. Holy crap. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Oh, man. So much for going out and getting venture blocks. That's the guy I have to worry about. Let's go over here and kill this guy real quick. He's a little fast little demon guy that's going to probably cause me more issues than the big guy over there. If I can hit him. There we go, we're killing him. Die, give me a weapon. Give me your weapons. Holy crap, how much damage is he doing to me? My whole bot flashed there for a second. I wonder why. We shouldn't have taken that much damage, to be honest. Let's see, no weapons. Nope, no weapons. Don't need any of that. I should go back and get healed up. Because I could risk losing everything here. Uh, but that's going to take a while. Let's, let's see if we can kill him. We'll risk it. May regret it. Probably will. Come on. Back up. Ah, this is perfect. If I could just sit here and 
whittle them down from a distance, I am perfectly fine with doing that. I am not worried about being brave or, or trying to go in for the challenge right now. I want his blocks as much as I can, although I don't know how much is going to be left. The good thing is he's on a hill. He's on a slant, so all the stuff I'm knocking off of him is kind of just falling down to the side, which means it's not getting destroyed as much as it would be. In fact, I think he's stuck, but he still may have some weapons. Hmm, there we go. Oh, no, he can still move. Holy crap. Die already. Nice. Oh, guys, this is like the Payload Studios ultimate little goodie box. You know, when they give you stuff like this, it really allows you to to do what you wanted to do for a while now, which is expand back this way. I wanted to go further back. Let's, uh, let's put some of these down. Uh, in fact, yeah, let's put them down here. In fact, I probably didn't even have to put the ones on the top, but I just like doing that for, for the sake of my weapons. Because when you have weapons that you actually are able to put down, you want to place for them. And the top is usually the best bet. Uh, sometimes putting them down on the bottom can be nice, but they get destroyed rather easy down there. So I try not to do that. Let's see. Where's the other wheel? Probably not enough wheels to do everything that I want, but definitely some good stuff. What is this? Conveyor belt? Nope. That's a receiver, so we'll pick that up. We'll connect this back here just for looks for now, and we will use those blocks later on down the road for something else, but just to get them out of the way and get back uh, get back home so we can repair. Again, we're taking damage left and right out here, and until we can find those repair bubbles that uh, we can attach to batteries, uh, we really don't have the choice other than to go back like every four seconds and and repair her up because if you don't you know like I said before many many times you guys risk losing everything and I cannot even stress that enough because I've done it so many times that it's it's gotten so ingrained in me I can't I can't think about anything else when I'm doing this is just make sure you're ready for it make sure you're healed up because uh, there's been a lot of times where I find a bot that I really want to destroy he has some pretty cool stuff and I'm like you know should I do it should I risk kind of like what I just did there and it usually does not work out in my favor so Again, you know, just side on the on caution, you know, if you don't, you're gonna regret that so much. Oh crap guys, this is this is pretty big on one side. I don't know if this is gonna really work, but we'll do our best to make sure it does. Let's go back a little further down here. And this is another reason, like I said, I like this design because it doesn't really require you to have to constantly and totally redesign your bot, which can be a thing later on when you're actually doing it for the very first time. You're like, okay, how should I do this? And what should be the design? And then you find the design you like, but then later on when you need to expand it, like it really doesn't expand very easy. And I should expand the front here as well. I wish... You know, I might actually be able to move my main guy back here into the middle of my bot, but sometimes when you remove that main guy, your whole bot just falls apart. So we'll have to see if that's the case. If not, I will actually move it back here to the center of my bot because that's going to be a lot safer back there. And it's going to make my bot a little bit easier to move around and not so much uh, so weird and, and off-center here in the center. Although, as you can see right here, not nearly enough space to repair my, uh, my whole bot by getting in here. So what I'll do here to make it a little bit easier is I'll move the uh, solar generator literally inside my base and see if I can get it to plant itself down on the ground like that right there. Then I'll attach the bubble if I can get it to attach. There we go. And when it finally goes off, it will heal a good portion of my base up. And so you may decide to leave some of the wheels off for a good little while until you go on to your next little area where you kind of spread out a little bit further in this design. And you can see my guys were really, really damaged there. So it's a good thing that I left it like that. So let's go ahead and pick that up. Make sure you always pick up the bubble first because, uh, you know, if you don't, it's going to fall all over the ground and sometimes when you put this thing down it has the tendency to toss things really really far and you, know, you may have to travel a great distance to find it again oh crap another enemy well I need I need to heal up let's let's finish doing this ah oh, crap you suck so bad guy come on kill him can we attack him from here yes we can oh you're just a little dude you're just a little guy and you're making all these troubles for me oh man He's knocked off so many things on my bot right there. Dang it, I'm going to have to redesign that entire side again. Die already, punk. I don't want you here. 
You're more trouble than you're worth. Let me go over here and get my base, my pace. Oh, oh my crap, guys. My base piece. Sorry about that. Let's pick this up. Uh, nothing new, though. I mean, still just the same old stuff that we had before, so it's kind of unfortunate. I mean, the last couple of playthroughs that we've done, we've gone through, they have been giving us stuff a little bit more freely than they used to. And this one, not so much. This one seems like they kind of reverted back to some of the older ways and the items you're getting are a lot less frequently. Now, I am exploring a lot less than I was on the last ones, too, so that could be a factor in why I, why I am feeling that way because, you know, when you can go off and explore, you'll find things a whole lot easier. You'll find those little uh, discovery points where you can just pick up what's there. It's usually being guarded, though, so be very careful about that. When you decide to go off, make sure you're ready again for what you might run into. But before we do that, we're going to heal back up because we never really got to do that. And most of the stuff over here got really damaged in that amount of time. Now, you can see it does take a few seconds to charge up. So take that into account, especially if you're out exploring. I've done that, uh, I think, on the last playthrough. I took one of these with me, and we went off into the desert and just kind of looked and saw, could see what we could find out there. And every so often, I'd stop and repair my bot with this. And if you're going to do that again... Um, you know, it's not always the safest bet to do that out in the middle of nowhere because you can get attacked just like I did all of a sudden. And, you know, this can get destroyed. And if you only have one of them with you, that may be the end of your bot. But thankfully, if your base is still alive, if you've made the proper preparations for that and your base survives while you're gone, which, you know, in this playthrough with this patch, I don't know if that's uh, actually possible because uh, it's so, more, so much more difficult to keep this base alive. Now... With this one tower, we've managed to do it quite well. So maybe that's all we really needed. But I don't know. You know, you just have to... Uh, we'll have to keep going. And as we get further and further away from our base... Although our base is getting bigger and bigger each uh, time we go out. So, you know, we may have to have more and more of these things to guard the bigger base that we have. And if I could just find a battery... We, are, we already have an extra repair bubble. We actually have an extra two if I really wanted to get technical and take those with me. Uh, although I'd like to leave those here so they can repair the base when they get damaged. Especially if you can have it near your uh, your guard tower over here so that, that when it does take damage, uh, will get repaired. Although you really don't want it in the way like that. Like Now he can't shoot in that direction so that may be a really bad idea. Let's move that back. It's uh, obviously full life so we don't have to worry about that. Let's see, are we going to go back out there? I guess we can go back out there and see if we can find something. Now that we've killed those guys, there shouldn't be any more enemies there. We do have a little bit of uh, damage in the center of our bot, but that's alright. That's not too big of a deal. As long as the majority of our bot is repaired, I think we, we should be able to come out here and hopefully find some Venture Blocks. I want some Venture ones. Uh, preferably Geocore, because those are the best ones you can get in the game, and that's really going to do something amazing for our... Dang, look how fast those guys spawn. I don't want that guy. Let's let's forget that guy for now. He may uh, he may go over there and destroy my base while I'm gone, so that uh, that definitely will suck if that happens. But I do have a fair bit of money. I might be able to rebuild, maybe. What is this? What kind of resource is this? This is kind of interesting. Let's, let's chop this stuff down and see what this is going to give us. Now, I don't want to stay too long out here because... Uh, you know, we can always get an invader, and I don't think we're ready for an invader. Let's see, what is this stuff called? I don't think we found this before. Oh, it's the Ignite Shard, the Red Crystal Ore. Yeah, we'll take that back with us. Uh, we still haven't been able to actually make anything from all the stuff that we found. Are you Venture? I think you are. You have bigger wills, too. Yeah, look how fast he's moving. Let's go out here. I don't want to stay out here longer than than is necessary, but I want those Venture Blocks. This may be my downfall, but come on, move. You can do better than this, guys. Oh, my God. He's trapped, too. Destroy him. Pika freak. So if you guys made that bot, let me know. That's that's kind of interesting. We're going to pick up all these wheels as fast as possible, and then we're going to get the heck out of here. Now, you can see these wheels are a little bit longer, so you will run into the issue. Ooh, and we get a new weapon, too. Yes, the Venture, the Venture Rifle, which I will show you guys on the way back. It actually turns in a 360 degree motion. Let's see, what is this over here? Let's put this on there. I don't know what that is, but we'll pick it up. What about this plant? Can we pick that up? No. Okay, let's get out of here. 
So let's see, what is this item right here on the back? If we can hover over it for a second. Venture Burn LED? Huh, maybe that's for the lights that they've added. I need to get out of this desert. As long as you're in the desert or in the mountain region, you have a chance at an invader. And as soon as you get into the grasslands, that chance disappears. It's their way of making it a nice, safe place for you to hang out and redesign your bot. Like I said before, on some of the other patches, that was not there. And those, those invaders would spawn so quickly, they just annihilate you every single time. And it got to the point where pretty much nobody could play. And the people who could play were so far along that... Even they were like, at some point, just like, I want to take a break from the constant battling and, and do something else, and you just couldn't do it. Let's put this down, and we will come over here and check out what this is real quick. Venture Burn LED. These bright orange lights emit diodes are an excellent and efficient choice for lighting your tech on night adventures. So we'll have to see what that looks like at nighttime. We also got these Venture Blocks. They're just standard blocks, light and cheap. This will make for a speedy racer, but won't stand up to punishment. So these are not as strong as these as the GSO uh, standard blocks, but they weigh less, so your wheels won't have to carry as much, uh, you know, weight to them, and therefore you won't need as many wheels. And then you have the Venture Globetrotter wheels. Small Venture wheels still leave everyone else in the dust. These are really, really fast, but again, because they stick out so far. You can see that getting stuck on the trees or blocks or, you know, part of your base when you go around the edges of it is a little bit easier to do. You can see, like, right there, it's going to get stuck if I can get past it with the regular GSO blocks. There we go. So now it's stuck right there. You think, oh, well, you're just showing us that. It doesn't happen very often. It actually happens quite a bit. And then, of course, uh, having them on the inside, you're not going to be able to do that very easily. Uh, and what happened to our... Did one of them get destroyed? I think we lost. Yeah, we just lost a solar generator and two of our repair bubbles while we were gone. Somebody uh, somebody must have attacked. See, so guys, you can't leave this thing alone for very long. That was a pretty costly mistake because those repair bubbles are pretty expensive. So if I have to replace those once I, I get some batteries and then if I hadn't gotten this other one in the meantime... Yeah, that would have definitely have sucked. So we're going to offload some of these goods. And I think on the next episode... I am going to see if maybe I can buy a, uh, a, a, a AI module and put it on this bot and then make a venture bot that's uh, a little speedy Gonzalez guy and then go out there and hunt a little bit and maybe leave this guy here. Maybe attach him to my base in some way or attach him to, uh, you know, the... Are they not offloading this? I guess it's too far away, huh? Too many blocks in the way. Yeah, that's it. So we're going to end it here, but... Yeah, I'll try to attach him to this uh, turret over here maybe and just have him stay over here and stand guard. You know, with this size and this many weapons, he should be fairly decent at it. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I do want to play around with the venture. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you do like these episodes, please hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely leave comments down below. And I will catch you guys next time.